Thank you so much, Mr. Chair. I thank my colleague for yielding. Uh, I appreciate this time to speak on behalf of my congressional district, which I lovingly call the 13 District Strong. Mr. Chair, instead of working on behalf of students, Secretary DeVos is enriching predatory for-profit colleges that leave students with crushing debt and useless degrees. And I rise today because we have to stop it. If you want to see harm caused by the legacy of the DeVos-led policies, look no further than my district. In fact, students in Michigan will suffer for years to come because of her consistent record of putting for-profit interests first. And who are Secretary DeVos's latest targets? Student bars who were defrauded by large for-profit colleges. Scams, Mr. Speaker. I heard from one constituent in my district who was deceived for, by a for-profit college that suddenly, with no notice, zero notice, closed its door six months into her one-year program. Now she is burdened with thousands of dollars in loans and nothing to show for them, not even a certificate or a diploma. She did apply for the forgiveness program through the Department of Education, but was denied. And if we don't stop this latest DeVos rule, we will guarantee that my constituent will bear the burden of unfairly paying for a diploma she has never received. It is outrageous that our residents are the ones being punished instead of protected from this type of fraud and abuse. And sometimes I think these words fraud and abuse are just not strong enough. These are scams, criminal activity by these corporations coming in and targeting communities like mine that are majority people of color. You look at the advertisement, they are targeting specific communities where I have a number of single mothers who want to go back to school and better their lives, or other folks that are non-traditional students that they target. And again, these are the most vulnerable communities that we all represent. We need to stop Secretary DeVos from this relentless effort to protect the bottom line for corporations at the expense of our residents, the students, 